Helios Airways Flight 522 On August 14, 2005, Helios Airways Flight 522 crashed after the flight crew was incapacitated due to hypoxia. The cause of the accident was a failure to reconfigure the cabin pressurization system from its manual to automatic setting following maintenance. As the Boeing 737 climbed, the cabin failed to pressurize and a gradual loss of oxygen rendered the crew and passengers unconscious. The aircraft continued on its programmed flight path on autopilot for over two hours, an event which led to its designation as a close flight. After being intercepted by two Hellenic Air Force F-16s, a flight attendant who had remained conscious by using a portable oxygen supply was seen entering the cockpit. He was unable to regain control of the aircraft before its engines flamed out due to fuel starvation. The plane crashed into a mountain near Grammatico, Greece, killing all 121 people on board. The disaster led to global improvements in pre-flight checklists and cabin pressure warning systems. Korean Air Flight 007 On September 1, 1983, a Korean Airlines Boeing 747 was shot down by a Soviet Su-15 interceptor. The cause of the shootdown was a significant navigational error that led Flight 007 off its intended course and violate sensitive Soviet airspace over the Kamchatka Peninsula during a period of intense Cold War tension. Believing the civilian airliner was a U.S. spy plane, the Soviet military scrambled fighters. After failing to make contact, a Soviet pilot was ordered to destroy the target. The missile strike caused catastrophic decompression, and the plane spiraled into the Sea of Japan, killing all 269 passengers and crew. The incident dramatically escalated international tensions and prompted the U.S. government to make its military's Global Positioning System, or GPS, available for civilian use to prevent such navigational errors in the future. Concord Crash the crash of Air France Flight 4590 on July 25, 2000 was initiated by a foreign object on the runway at Charles de Gaulle Airport. The cause of the accident was a titanium alloy strip dropped by a preceding aircraft, which shredded one of the Concorde's tires during its takeoff roll. A large piece of the exploded tire was thrown upward into the wing at high speed, rupturing an integral fuel tank. The resulting massive fuel leak ignited almost immediately causing a catastrophic fire and the failure of two engines on the left wing. The crew fought to keep the aircraft airborne, but it crashed into a hotel two minutes after takeoff, killing all 109 people on board and four people on the ground. The accident effectively ended the era of supersonic passenger travel, leading to the retirement of the Concorde fleet. Ethiopian Airlines Flight 302 on March 10, 2019, an Ethiopian Airlines Boeing 737 MAX 8 crashed 6 minutes after takeoff. The cause of the accident was the uncommanded activation of the Maneuvering Characteristics Augmentation System, a flight control software. A single faulty angle of attack sensor provided erroneous data to the flight computer, triggering the system. The MCAS repeatedly pushed the aircraft's nose down, overriding the pilot's commands. Despite following emergency procedures, the pilots were unable to over overcome the powerful automated software. The aircraft entered an unrecoverable dive and crashed, killing all 157 people on board. As the second fatal accident involving the MCAS system in five months, the crash led to the immediate grounding of the entire global 737 MAX fleet. Lion Air Flight 610 on October 29, 2018, Lion Air Flight 610, a Boeing 737 MAX, crashed into the Java Sea 13 minutes after takeoff. The cause of the disaster was a malfunctioning MCAS, which was repeatedly activated by data from a single faulty angle of attack sensor that had not been properly repaired. The automated system, which the pilots were not informed about, repeatedly pushed the plane's nose down to correct for a stall that was not occurring. The pilots contended with the automated commands more than two dozen times before losing control of the aircraft. The crash killed all 189 passengers and crew. The investigation revealed critical flaws in the 737 MAX's design and in Boeing's safety certification process. Pan Am Flight 103 on December 21, 1988, Pan Am Flight 103 was destroyed by an improvised explosive device over Lockerbie, Scotland. The cause of the disaster 
was an act of terrorism. A bomb made of plastic explosive hidden inside the radio cassette player within a suitcase was loaded into the forward cargo hold. The explosion occurred 38 minutes after departure, causing the aircraft to disintegrate at 31,000 feet. The wreckage was scattered over 845 square miles, killing all 259 people on board and 11 residents of Locker B on the ground. The attack, which was linked to Libyan intelligence operatives, prompted a massive overhaul of global aviation security protocols, particularly in how a passenger baggage is screened and reconciled with passengers on board. American Airlines Flight 191 The crash of American Airlines Flight 191 on May 25, 1979 was caused by the complete separation of the left engine and its pylon assembly during takeoff from Chicago's O'Hare Airport. The root cause was structural failure resulting from damage caused by an improper maintenance procedure. A shortcut used by the airline during engine servicing had created a critical stress fracture in the pylon. During takeoff, the damaged structure failed completely. The detached engine severed hydraulic lines and ripped away a section of the wing's leading edge, causing the slats on that side to retract. The resulting loss of lift on the left wing created an uncontrollable roll. The DC-10 crashed less than a minute after liftoff, killing all 271 people on board and two on the ground, making it the deadliest single aircraft accident in U.S. history. United Airlines Flight 232 Ten years after Flight 191's engine separation, another DC-10 faced a different kind of engine disaster. On July 19, 1989, United Airlines Flight 232 experienced an uncontained engine failure, where components break apart and are ejected from the engine casing. The cause was a manufacturing defect in a titanium fan disc that led to its disintegration. Shrapnel from the explosion severed all three of the aircraft's hydraulic lines, rendering all flight controls inoperable. What followed was one of the most remarkable examples of resource management in aviation history. The flight crew led by Captain Al Haynes discovered they could achieve limited control by varying the thrust of the two remaining engines. For 45 minutes, they guided the jet towards Sioux City, Iowa. Although the DC-10 crash landed, the crew's incredible improvisation meant that 184 of the 296 people on board survived. Air France Flight 447 On June 1, 2009, Air France Flight 447 crashed into the Atlantic Ocean after an aerodynamic stall was induced by the icing of its pita tubes. The cause of the accident was the loss of reliable airspeed data, which led to the autopilot disconnecting and subsequent incorrect pilot control inputs. The blockage of the airspeed sensors confused the crew and the Airbus A330's automated systems. The pilot at the controls reacted with the sharp nose-up input, putting the aircraft into a stall from which it never recovered. The crew failed to identify the stall condition despite numerous warnings. The plane fell from 38,000 feet, killing all 228 people on board. The investigation exposed critical issues in how pilots are trained to handle automation failures in modern cockpits. Malaysia Airlines Flight 370 On March 8, 2014, Malaysia Airlines Flight 370 disappeared from radar, and its fate remains one of the greatest mysteries in modern aviation. The official cause of its disappearance is undetermined, but evidence suggests it was the result of deliberate action. The Boeing 777, with 239 people on board, deviated from its planned flight path approximately 40 minutes after takeoff. The aircraft's transponder and communication systems were deliberately switched off. Military radar tracked the plane as it made a sharp turn back across the Malay Peninsula and then headed south over the Indian Ocean. Automated satellite pings indicated it continued to fly for another 6 hours before presumably running out of fuel. Despite the most expensive search in aviation history, the main wreckage has never been found. Japan Airlines Flight 123 The crash of Japan Airlines Flight 123 on August 12, 1985 was caused by the catastrophic failure of the aft pressure bulkhead. The bulkhead failed due to a faulty repair conducted by Boeing technicians seven years prior. An improper splice repair had severely compromised the structure's integrity. After thousands of pressurization cycles, the weakened repair failed explosively 12 minutes into the flight. The rush of air destroyed the vertical stabilizer and severed all four of the Boeing 747's hydraulic lines. 
For 32 minutes, the crew fought to keep the aircraft airborne using only engine thrust before crashing into a mountain. 520 of the 524 people on board were killed, making it one of the deadliest single aircraft accident in history and a case study in flawed aircraft repair verification. Tenerife Airport Disaster On March 27, 1977, the deadliest accident in aviation history occurred when two Boeing 747s collided on a runway at Los Rodeos Airport in Tenerife, killing 583 people. The cause was a chain of miscommunications, human errors, and environmental factors. A bomb threat had diverted numerous aircraft to the small airport, congesting its single runway. The KLM 747 initiated its takeoff roll in the fog without explicit clearance from air traffic control while a Pan Am 747 was still taxiing on the same runway. Crucial radio transmissions were blocked by simultaneous broadcasts, leading the KLM captain to mistakenly believe he was cleared for takeoff. The KLM jet slammed into the Pan Am jet, resulting in a massive explosion. The disaster revolutionized aviation by forcing the implementation of standardized phraseology in air traffic control.